Good morning everybody and welcome back to Beautiful Mind today and thank you very much for having me and William as your guest today. We've been discussing quite a bit the uh, present rally and of course the pullback that we were expecting here and our target month for September was of course hit. However, we were talking about the fact that we've had a retest a couple of times and this right, this dead cap bounce, this fake out right up here to our old trend line, this yellow trend line coming down from our March all-time highs and crossing through all our, to our tops. And this, this section of the market here where my forecast I had been putting out days, weeks and months ahead months. This tested my patience and my uh, forecast. I mean while this was carrying on and doing this dead cap bounce I was I was getting concerned that it was going against my forecast so I got very busy and I just continued coding. Uh, I stopped doing a bit of coding and I started doing some more research of course back testing my uh, forecast and of course at the end of it it did break and it uh, the the pullback came as I stated it would need to come let's just go back and take a look at why I thought that was the case looking back at September this is September Mars was making its way back and across the chart on the opposite side it's right here now and where it was opposite where we had tops and bottoms in January here and this represents those areas and we had a really extreme fast move however this one continued all the way to the 29th and then that fast move happened and I was literally saying to myself there was something wrong and that my forecast you know I missed something but no time is the most important thing and it does take a little extra to find out were the changes. Now Mr. Gann always gave himself three degrees and this he applied to the minute chart, the hour chart, the daily, the weekly, the monthly and the yearly. So for instance if he stated that in 2003 there would be a bottom, if the bottom didn't come say three years after or three years before he would still consider that a direct hit. You know because he's got to give himself a little margin of error. We have to wait for time to uh, run out the cycle. Getting back to our chart now, we're going to start to do some really heavy TA this morning. So I'm going to need you to get really comfortable as we're going to delve deep into our trend lines and our, you know, our friend. You know, it's the... Uh, as you guys know, it's these channels, right? So let's go ahead and let's take a look at uh, how I declared where this would end. Okay. Our chart is compressed. These angles that are running up right here, like this angle here, it says it's 31. It's a 45 degree angle. We're going to reset this right now so that we can all see what we're talking about. And then we're going to take the magic and we're going to work with it. And I'm going to show you how we can ascertain strength and weakness. So let's go ahead. So now we've just reset our 45 degree angle. Before we go to where we are today, we need to go back. Here's our classic channel. I ran my 45 degree angle and my 67 degree angle, which is a 1 times 2 angle or a two times one angle on this side of the 45 degree angle. This would be a one times two on this side. Paying attention carefully to the asset, we ran a 45 degree angle up and a 67 degree angle. When we made top, I immediately put on a 45 degree angle and a subsequent 67 degree angle moving down and a one times two angle or a 22 and a half degree angle. This is supposed to be 22 and a half. 
I'll just get it down there. Crossing of these two angles, a 45 and a 1 times 2 indicated extreme weakness. We were unable to get above this. We've had several dead cat bounces in this entire area. We were just unable to stay above this. And it signaled that crossing the 45 degree angle, which is the death angle, and moving down. Let's go take a look at the rest of this. Knowing that the trend is moving down, we addressed a 45 degree angle and a 67 degree angle for a trajectory to look for where a bottom may be forming. Compressing the chart now, the angles will not show 45 and 22 since I've compressed it. However, those are the angles. We're going to now talk about them. Let's go back to the hourly chart because it's much more important that we see what's going on. Moving the chart over and compressing it. We're now going to look at our first fall off and what we can see. Studying the chart very closely. That's right. We put on a 45 degree angle moving down. And then we put on an aggressive 1 times 2 or a 2 times 1 angle moving down. As soon as we made another bottom, we put a 45 degree angle on and a 1 times 2 angle. Let's go have a look at this. This is TA at its best. We made a swing bottom, got into a channel. We came back up and we retested an area of the chart we couldn't get back over. I'm going to bring it over so you can see it. It's important that you see these areas. It's this area right here. Okay? We came up. We did a headbutt here. We have our 1 times 2 angle crossing, another 1 times 2 angle moving down, and crossing a 45 degree angle here moving down indicated significant weakness and that is exactly what happened moving down aggressively on our one times two angle moving down we placed another 45 degree angle and another two times one angle watching the strength of this return we came up and what did we do in our channels remember we talked about our channels guys i teaching you all this for free i do all this for free we come back up we always retest the underbelly of our channels showing weakness here right what does that do we had butt here yep weakness you're a pro now moving down we put another 45 degree angle on and another 67 where are we expecting another top well we have two 45 degree angles crossing here and the market loves to come back to a gravity center having a fake out and a lower top here and bouncing off our 45 degree angle moving down we had yet placed another 45 degree angle and a 1 times 2 angle. And now measuring this market, coming up against our 1 times 2 angle, we crossed this area and another 45 degree angle. We had a crossing of several angles here, indicating that we had come back up to the underbelly of this channel and the top of this channel and showing weakness by not getting above this 45 degree angle implied weakness breaking the 45 angle when it sat on it here showed extreme weakness let's continue on extending our 45 degree angles down we knew that this market was going to need to meet and get back and readdress this 45 degree angle moving down on our 45 degree angles we noted that our square of nine level at 61 here was hit are we done yet I don't know guys I don't think so but it's pretty close I'm almost ready to initiate a buy signal but it's not here yet it's very close so just cool your jets looking at this now we move down I started to put 45 degree angles on this but they pierced through them too quickly so I didn't keep them 
waiting for us to come down and make another bottom. We're going to talk about these two white angles right here moving up. These are one times two angles. We're going to discuss them in a second. Coming down and making a vicious bottom here, I populated a 45 degree angle and a one times two angle. Our one times two angle crosses a 45 degree angle exactly where we had a change in trend and I was expecting a change at 61.8. Why? Look right here, underbelly of a channel. Look, the channel top rejected, right? Classic movements. We just talked about all this. You guys are pros now. We had a rejection and a re-test and a further rejection on our 45 degree angle perfectly. Moving back down and sitting on our 45 degree angle from our bottom here, showing immense weakness. We have been readdressing this spike bottom underneath this 45 degree angle and we have two 45 degree angles are crossing right here. All right, we've caught up. Where are we going? Let's go ahead and let's take a look. I've been waiting for this in my forecast, you know, guys. I'm not high-fiving yet. We're not out of the woods. I'm a scientist. Nothing surprises me. And nothing should surprise you. Compressing the chart now, we're going to now go take a look at why... I felt that we could be very, very, very close to a bottom. Switching to a four hour chart now so that we can take a better look at this. One second while the chart populates our four hour. I'm going to make this bigger so that we can uh, tear it apart. I want you to first note before I move this and cover it with the square of nine. There's our low guys, right? There she is, and she crosses right here. Okay, so we've noted that we have these areas here. Okay, let's just take a look at our targets and what we're seeing. Making the chart bigger so that we can see it better. I'm trying to be careful not to cover it with the square nine. All right, guys, there you, you can see like this one times two angle coming up from that bottom that I showed you. This is how we caught it. This doesn't necessarily mean it has to stay here, but this is a very, very strong area right here. It's a very strong area. However, we still have this eclipse. And on eclipses, William Gann has always stated that there's always a lot of energy that is released in an eclipse and that the market usually experiences big swings as trader sentiment changes due to the natural and reoccurring phenomena that exists and persists. Looking further now, we have a crossing here of a few angles in this vicinity and this vicinity is stating 57 and just because we have 57 here guys doesn't mean that it can't just dip down to 55 and retest our 53 we've you know we've talked about this is our low here right this is where we bounced off of so it's possible that we do come back to this area I'm not saying it will happen but the likelihood of the volatility that we've been experiencing and that I have been anticipating days, weeks, and months in advance. Come on, guys. This is a, a yearly trend. Last year, I told you to buy between the 6th and the 16th because we were going to have an extreme fast move up. And that is precisely and exactly what happened one year ago. Looking back on that, Let's just readdress that because, uh, as you guys know, um, I am very, 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 very interested in the fast moves. So we're going to go now and take a look at what I was talking about. Patience while I bring the chart into view. 
my PC is running very, very, very slow. Okay, last year, this is our cycle low, right? And I told you that uh, we were going to have some tumultuous stuff happen. And that we would be back by August 26th, we'd be at a bottom. And sure enough, we were. As a matter of fact, guys, you know, I I'm just going to slide this over so that we can talk about this for a second. You know, I... Uh, I said something was wrong here. I put out a tutorial back here in July and I said something was wrong. We were we were supposed to continue on and move up. And I said something was wrong. So we needed to continue the 180 days from our top in April. And that subsided here, okay, and squared out. And then I said between the 6th, and the 16th, I said to buy. I bought this day at 27200 It was the last day. I just was watching my trend lines, and it crossed over, and we stayed above it. And I stand behind my forecast. And, you know, it was scaring the crap out of me that it was about to, like, make another Humpty Dumpty. But I stood behind my work, or the work of William Gebb. And it's my belief that the work that we do here is powerful and correct has been the state has been stated I pre-record all these and you can go back and tear my tutorials apart so I warned you last year that this cycle was gonna get really really crazy okay so we're about to move into a cycle that is similar or rhyming okay we have a, a major election happening right now so there's a lot of volatility. I'm just going to move this back to the front now and we can then discuss a little bit. And uh, I think at that point we're pretty much done. You guys have seen the outcome of my uh, of my work. And let's bring it into view here. This November we have this election and I'm expecting a tumultuous move up and the last time that uh, Mars crossed into an area of the chart I noted that Mars in November when it made it to this part of the degrees of the chart it made a major swing top and I'm expecting a major swing top right in here guys. So, and this month, this October, this is the reason why we're going to have this major swing low. Take a look. Planet of major change and transformation. Uranus. Right here. Okay, so I've shown you guys a little bit of stuff. We've discussed the outcomes. I've uh, been postulating all the tops and bottoms and they're coming into fruition. Are we going to see this top here in this area here? Well I think that we're going to experience a little bit of this sideways here once we get down here and uh, make a low somewhere in this vicinity of the chart. Doesn't have to be down here or doesn't have to be down here. But it looks like this rising trend line to these lows here is um, is giving us some direction. As well as this 1 times 2 angle from our low. We've just sat down on this. And uh, it's consolidating right now. And it's possibly getting ready for another leg down before a reversal takes place. Anyways guys, peace and love and uh, safe trading out there. They're looking for your assets, but we are looking out for our assets. So be vigilant, you guys. A change is coming. Peace and love.